five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to Oysters and Anarchism. This is... Veronica! Veronica! We are going to be talking about oysters, anarchism, and... The school system! Specifically, college! Yay! So, what are your views on oysters and anarchism? I love oysters. Oyster shots are the best. Yeah! Not an oyster shot in not alcohol. How sad. And I find anarchism personally incredibly intriguing, uh, but at this time, unattainable. I feel like maybe in a few generations when we've established more equality, regardless of race and gender and sexual preference, uh, it might be a little more attainable. Um, but, like communism, it has the potential to corrupt when it goes into larger scales, so I feel like it should be kept in rather confined, small-scale communities. Along the lines of what I believe. And so, did you want to tell your personal story on how you came to these views on the education system and um, college? Yeah, uh, I graduated high school in 2012, and I went immediately into college, like a lot of young folk my age. And when I got to college, I realized that I had no idea what I was doing. I was not prepared for the amount of work that college would be. I wasn't prepared for the change in scenery and pace because I completely left my hometown. It was my first time being away from my family, and it took a huge toll on me, and I ended up dropping out after four quarters because I just couldn't do it anymore. So what are you doing now? I work a couple of jobs. I work for a local grocery store and as a janitor at a couple of restaurants. So um, a couple of weeks ago, you were making, uh, you were telling me these things about your coworkers who are college graduates. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, I have uh, quite a few coworkers who are either college graduates or currently going to college, and it kind of saddens me to see them working in the same exact position I'm make I'm working, getting paid the exact same wages, just with thousands of dollars more debt and a degree. Okay, so um, so you're kind of saying that college doesn't guarantee you a, a really good job? It doesn't guarantee you anything. Um, maybe in the past, before we had such a crisis in the job market, it would have, it would have helped out more, but degrees don't get jobs, resumes do. Okay, um, uh, to bring up something, my older sister is actually an engineer for Boeing, and you know, she uh, attended school for five years, majored in physics and electrical engineering. What do you have to say in response to that? Um, that's incredibly, I'm very happy for her. She must be very lucky to work in such a good, great job. I assume it's a great job, good position. She, I, if you go to school for five years for something, you must be passionate about it. But they're just, not everyone can be an engineer. Yeah. You need your janitors, you need your deli workers, your produce stockers, and not everyone is destined to become a college graduate. Okay. Um, so, uh, you were talking about, uh, um, just like, how in the past it may have worked for people to go to college and stuff. And something else we were talking about probably a few weeks ago uh, was that, um, uh, I don't even remember <laughs> where I was going with this. The job crisis maybe? No, 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 the, oh yeah, just um, we're being like, like, the youth of America, we feel like we're being peddled into college too quickly. What do you, what kind of complications do you think that has? Well, um, well, first of all, we are 
incredibly too young to be deciding what we want to do for the rest of our lives when we do end up going to college. Like, I, when I was, you know, like me right now compared to five years ago, I, I have completely different worldviews. And if I were to decide at 18 that I'm going to go to college and get a degree in, let's say, psychology. By the time I, you know, five years later when I'm finally nearing the end of getting that degree, who knows if I still care about psychology. Hmm. Um, they're just, our youth are being pushed way too quickly into thinking about college, thinking about the rest of their lives, and we're wasting some of our best years forcing yeah. ourselves to stay in this system because that's what we're pressured into. Yeah, and you don't have any ill feelings towards people who go to college. I don't. I just, I don't have any Ill, Ill feelings towards people who go to college, but there's a lot of pressure to go to college, and I feel like that shouldn't be there. Because when you don't go to college, you're automatically looked down upon, people ask you all the time, are you going back to college, what if you had some money, why did you drop out, because it's just, it's so expected and it's ingrained into our systems. That's similar to how I feel. I'm going to cover this a little bit more in another video, but for some context, I am in my fourth year studying anthropology and theater, and obviously these are two fields of study I care very much about. And in high school, I struggled a bit because of my ADHD, which I still somewhat struggle with. And I decided to take a year off between high school and college because I really felt like after like 13 years of school, I needed a break, and I feel like if I hadn't taken that break, my life would be completely different. I, I, I may have even dropped out. Actually, if I knew my, what my like current emotional and financial status would be like um, in a couple of years, I probably would have taken a few more years off between uh, high school and college. Do you have anything else to add? I actually have a very funny story about oysters. I've looked up how they reproduce at least three times in my life because I keep forgetting, but I keep finding it. I keep just, it'll just pop into my head. How do they, how do oysters become? And there was one time I was trying to make a very long credits list in a video, so I just copy pasted the Wikipedia article on oyster reproduction. Hmm. Okay, that is very interesting to know, and thank you, Veronica, for being on today's episode. And my eyelashes and I will see you some other time. And in the meantime, my future roommate and I will watch some oyster porn, so...